Okay, a little bit more conditional probability, and this time we have dogs. So we're going to work with the whole philosophy down here of the probability of a boxer, given that it's a female, probability of a female, given that it's a bulldog, and the probability of a lab, given that it's male. Remember that in conditional probability, what goes behind the line will end up going on the bottom or in the denominator of your formula, and the fact that you have a given reduces your sample space. So what I have is I have boxers, bulldogs, and labs, and I have some fem females and some males, and I'm not sure if this little guy over here is a female or a male. Um, so I have my raw data. This is a cross tabulation table. So I have my raw data here. And these are simply my totals. Total here, 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 and here. So let's calculate. All right. So first I'm going to do the probability of a boxer given that it's a female. So since I know that I'm going to draw first, and I'm going to pick a female. What I know is that all I'm going to pick from are these females right here. So given that I've picked a female, so given that I picked a female, which is on the bottom, which is behind the fence, which is on the bottom, it's out of 30. Now what I want to know is Given that it's a female, what's the probability that it was a boxer? So there are my 10 boxers. But remember, given it's a female, means it's only out of these 30, not the entire 45. So I end up with 10 out of 30, which gives me 0.33, or about 33%. All right, so now I'm going to look at the probability of a female, given that it's a bulldog. So remember, bulldog is going to be what reduces my sample space. So I'm only dealing with these bulldogs as the sample from which I'm drawing. So I've already picked a dog and it's a bulldog. So now I want to know what's the probability that it's a female. Probability that it's a female are these 12. So what I end up with is probability of female and bulldog, these 12, out of the 17 bulldogs I had from which to select, gave me 12 over 17 which was approximately 70 percent. Whatever your given is, remember that's the only part of all of these dogs up here, the entire sample space from which we want to choose. All right, so now we want to look at this last group, and this last group is the probability of a lab given that we've already selected a male. So now the only ones I care about are these males because I picked a puppy out and the puppy ended up being a male. So out of those males, what is now the probability that I get a lab? So when I look at just those males, I want to see what's the probability of getting a male lab and that's these four that are both lab and male. But remember my given was that I had already selected one and gotten a male. So it's simply four over 15 because this is the same thing as saying what's the probability of a lab and a male divided by the probability of a male 
because I know that whatever is behind the fence goes on the bottom of my formula and when I do that piece of math I end up with 0.27 or about 27 percent so always remember that the, a given probability is always the probability of both divided by the probability of the given the given is what's behind the fence and that in a conditional probability you already know that your denominator the amount from which you select is always going to be smaller than the total hope this helps talk to you soon bye